What's up guys, it's the Magic Man here, and today, today's just a little bit of an update video. Um, I've been having a few ideas on uh, what to do for my channel, what new stuff to do. Uh, the biggest thing was I wanted to start a, um, not a daily pack opening, I want to get to that, but unfortunately uh, I don't have the money to open a pack every day, especially the packs that I'm going to want to open, like uh, some of the older packs that I have right here. Um... So I might be doing like two packs a week, maybe like have them uploaded randomly or maybe have them like on a Monday and then like a Thursday or a Tuesday and a Friday. I'm not sure yet. Uh, leave suggestions down below. Um, I also, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway. So I have um, some altars here that I've been working on. Uh, this one's a uh, Japanese bump in the night. This one is just a uh, altar dissolve. I did all these altars myself. Uh, this one's just an altered goblin token. Uh, they're all technically still in progress, like this one. Uh, this one is one I'm working on. Uh, it still needs a lot of work, but uh, I'm getting there. So those are some uh, that I'm working on. I'm also uh, on eBay. I'm giving out um, a bunch of uh, EDH repacks. So uh, they all come with foils and the front. And then they come with uh, just a bunch of rares and uncommons in the back. So, um, I might put a link to my eBay down there. I don't know. I'm thinking of uh, making some repacks and just giving them, a giving them away to subscribers and commenters and people who like it and stuff. Uh, I also have this um, Cliff Top Retreat, I believe it's called, a Japanese. Um, might be giving this away, giving it away in a repack. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then these are five packs that I have already. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this, but uh, when I do, I will probably start uh, uploading, uh, like, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, maybe like Crack-A-Pack or uh, Weekly Opening, uh, something like that. But uh, I have three Saviors of Kamigawa. And one 2012 core set and one Homelands. Um, I know Homelands, there's nothing really that cool in it, but it's like, it's from 1995, I believe. Um, yeah, see, 1995, that's, and that's incredibly old, and I want to, hopefully I want to see if I can open, uh, one of each pack that has ever been printed on this channel. So, um, I'm gonna open one today, and I'm gonna roll a die, uh, It'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, if I roll a 6, I'll just uh, roll again. So, um, let's see what we will roll. Come on. <laughs> it's a 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, I guess we're opening up Homelands today. Alright, uh, Homelands, uh, I'm not sure, uh, if there is any money cards. Let me just check. Uh, I have an, an, uh, website up here. Let's see, it's all the way from 1995, so that would be Homelands. Let's see, and I'm not sure how, uh, the order goes either. Alright, oh, Didgeridoo is, um, the is the highest card at like five dollars so i got this pack for a dollar or two i think i'm not sure um oh yeah another thing is uh my play mat right here i am going to uh, if you can see it has outlined uh the the magic and then i'm going to be putting man in the back uh it, i'm i'm still working on the mat on the play mats but it'll be soon for the channel and um all that jazz. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's see. Man, I, I want to know the order. Okay, so um, I'll be right back, and then I'll have the order for you guys. Unfortunately, online I couldn't find uh, where the rare would be in this pack, but um, if we get something that's good, I mean, the best thing we can get is like a five dollar card. And I got this thing for two bucks. Um, I'll be happy. I'm just, I'm glad to crack a pack that is uh, this old. So, let's get to it. Alright, I wanted to uh, preserve the pack itself. 
because um, I like to collect uh, the booster packs. I know it's weird, but I do. <laughs> I want to make a huge collage out of them. So let's just open this up here. Alright, we have a dry spell. That's cool. Alright, so we preserved the pack. Alright, dry spell. One generic, one black. Dry spell deals one damage to each creature and player. Okay, at sorcery speed. Anaba Bodyguard. It's a 2 3 for 3 generic, 1 red. Uh, has first strike. Okay. We have a Reef Pirates. It's a 2 2 for 1 generic and 2 blue. Whenever a Reef Pirates damages any opponent, take the top card of his or her library and put it into his or her graveyard. Okay, must have been good at the time. Alright. Alibon's Tower. Uh, it's one generic, one red for an instant. Target blocking creature gets plus three, plus one until end of turn. Not that bad. Ooh, Anaba Shaman. Uh, I've seen this card before. Uh, it's a 2-2 for three generic, one red. Summon Minotaur. Uh, you can pay red and tap him, and he deals one damage to target creature or player. So... Eh, kind of bad. Alright, last three cards, I believe. Or four, I don't know. Um, Abby Matron is a 1 3 for 3. Uh, white and tap it. Uh, plus 0, plus 3 until end of turn. Okay. Aysen Abby. Oh, I think I actually have one of these already. That's pretty, that's pretty nifty. <laughs> Uh, it, you can, uh, it's a land, you can tap it for colorless mana, or you can pay one and add white to your mana pool, pay two, tap, add blue to your mana pool, or tap, or pay two and tap for add green to your mana pool. Not the best card ever. We have a sea sprite. It's a 1-1 one, one for one generic, one blue, flying, protection from red. And that's it. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Um, yeah, that's going to be the first pack uh, that I opened of Homelands. Um, just because it's so cheap, I might order a few more online, but probably not. Um, I would say the best card out of this pack would be, um, either Sea Sprites. Alibin's Tower or Dry Spell. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, keep in tune for more videos, more updates, and uh, whatever is more to come. Uh, I hope you have a magic-filled day.